Are you ready? Glasses? Okay. Can you see it? Ready? Yeah. There you go. That's fire. I'm Andy. I'm Sean. We are living level. Um, we're here today. We are going to be talking about our trip to Maryland to the Yogi Bear Jellystone Camp Resort in Hagerstown, Maryland. Uh, we went there last April. Actually, it was the end of March. The, the beginning till April 1st in 2018. We went for about four nights. We decided to go there for Easter because jelly stones are super fun and have lots of activities, right? Well, yeah, we, I think we wanted some activities, um, but we knew that the whole park was not going to be open, but we wanted to break up the trip. Yeah, one of the big things at this campground is they have huge water slides, a really nice water park. And unfortunately, they don't open until Memorial Day weekend, so we didn't get to enjoy those. But to make up for it, we did rent a hot tub. I'll insert a picture here. So we love the hot tub. Hot tub was awesome. There's a two night minimum. We the reason we decided to get the hot tub was because the second part of our trip. This was a we did two campgrounds in one trip was we were going to Shenandoah National Park and I had a ton of hiking in store for our kids. And our kids at the time were nine and 10. So I, we got the hot tub, um, like I said, the water park wasn't open when we were there. So we decided that we would get the hot tub, splurge, special treat. So it was super fun. Totally recommend getting the hot tub. Um, definitely get a hot tub if you go in like, if you're in the spring or in the fall. Um, otherwise in the summer, just go use the water park. So, we had site number 229. The campground is broken up. So if you look at the map, I'll put in a map. Hopefully, hopefully that works. Um, so we were in 229. So we had a red carpet site. Um, it was really nice. It was paved. It had a really nice fire ring. Had a nice hot tub, but the hot tub was just because we were there. Um, the location of it was great because you could get to, right next to us was a playing field. So you played baseball and soccer and the whole time the kids could just run out. It looked like we had like a huge side, like our campsite face the playing field. So if you don't like kids running around or being in activities, you do not want site 229, but we like that kind of thing. So it was great for us. Also the laser tag was there. So at night you would hear the, what was it, like a beeping? Yeah, the beep. <laughs> beep. But again. I loved it. Again, it is campground. Uh, you go to Jellystones to have fun and just run around and have a great time. So it didn't bother us. We have it was fun. Yeah, but we're also off season, so there weren't too many. It was pretty much just me, you, and the boys in the field. Yeah, yeah. And one of the funny things about it was when while we were there, there weren't there were hardly any empty sites at the campground. Right? It was like it had to be ninety five percent packed. The day after Easter, that's Monday, we were still there because we wanted to go hiking. It was us. <laughs> that was in like two other campers. They were gone. Everyone was gone at the same time. So, uh, so then it was nice and quiet. Um, so one of the other, th campground has a ton of activities and that was one of the reasons that we, st we stopped here. Um, they had the Yogi's Boot Camp, which is like a Ninja Warrior training course. You didn't do it, right? I don't think adults were allowed. Oh, no. So the kids did it. It was like a time kids, slot. They yeah. got like 30 Teenagers. minutes. Yeah. And then um, they had a blast. It mm -hmm. totally warm out. They, that was really, really fun. The laser tag was fun, but I didn't like the laser tag because they didn't do like teams. Like it was free. It, it was, was a like, free for all. And it, we went and Chaos. we... Chaos. It was. So we went and we had our time slot to play and a couple other families came. And they, own, it was weird because it was like the blue team and red, you know, you get the different color laser, the guns, and usually you go after the other color, but they were going against themselves. Yeah, the, get, ki the kids, like I know Brady and Shay had, they found friends within that battle and they 
these kids were forming their own alliances. Yeah, and it was weird. Like, then we were shooting, like, okay, well, we'll shoot you the other color. And then they were like, why are you shooting us? Like, we're trying to get better. Oh. So it was kind of, it was weird. But on Easter, they do adult, well, actually, for on Easter, they do, they start with, a, like, the toddlers. They have a Easter egg hunt. And then they do the, they go up in age. And then they had a certain point. Our boys did it. It was like nine. It was under ten, probably twelve and under. Do an Easter egg hunt, and they got the eggs, and they had stickers and miscellaneous things in them. But at night, on the laser tag field, they do the teenagers and the adults. And we got to do. They had with the Easter egg for the adults. We got our eggs, and it would have like a wine cooler, a beer. So after you got all your eggs, you'd line up, and we got wine coolers and we beer did. and. Cash in your ticket for whatever. It was fun. It was fun. So, um, but since we were right there, our site was right there, the line was so long for everybody to get their stuff. We just went back to our campsite, waited for the line to get low, and <laughs> went back and got our, claimed our goods. But that was a super fun thing. Um, the kids, like, they had an egg toss, old school, with real eggs um, out in the field. So they had a lot of Easter activities. So it was super fun. Yeah, that day was busy. A lot of people. Yeah, that day the field was completely full next to us. Um, we also did um, the pedal cars. They have these carts. You can car, like you pedal them. You can just go over. There's a track. Pick up one and then go as long as you want and then stop. That was really fun and that was right off of our site. They have a jumpy pillow. Um, kids love that. And then, we, like I said, the slides are closed but the hot tub was awesome. So there's playground, there's a lot to do at this campground, and it felt very different um, as you went around the campground. Where we were, um, we had the playing field, there was access to Jumpy Pillow, playgrounds, water park, and then there was another section which, um, kind of like up by the boot camp. Beyond the tree line. I'm looking at a map right now, they're like the 700s. Um, that was, um, it was all open, not very wooded. And, but a lot of people in groups. So if you like to travel with a bunch of people in groups, this is a perfect spot because you can just line up against each other. And uh, you can see a lot of people work there for Easter vacation, it's my time with family and friends. And that was a great area over there. And then when you go over to like the 100s, it was all wooden, it wooded. It was like, you felt like you were camping. Not like you were in the red carpet site. <laughs> with that. Um, it was very, very nice, very rustic. Definitely would probably be there in the summer when it was really hot out. Um, but I have no complaints where we were. We'd definitely go there again. Um, what else about the campground? Well, they had, we didn't, we didn't do this, but they had like the typical Yogi Bears. They had the movie night every night, the, right? They had a yeah. movie playing. I don't think, they didn't, they didn't go at all, right? No, we did the candy bar bingo, um, which was, and Shay, our son, actually won, so that was pretty cool. So this book here, this is what, uh, at the end of every season, we make a book. I used to make one per campground, but we go to so many. Now I just make a book of all of our trips. So when we're looking down at the pictures, these are pictures of, um, of Jelly Stone. So can't be rude and all that stuff. So I'll put these pictures in, hopefully, into that. So you can see uh, what we're talking about. I'll probably just slideshow it at the end because I have some videos. So, Maryland was super awesome. Totally loved it. Definitely want to go back when we can go on the slides, right? Yeah, I would go back where you can enjoy the whole, everything that they offer. Yeah, so we're from New Jersey, so we, we go, um, what we do is I usually plan our trips um, within three, what, four hours. Like there's different things that we do. So from home, this trip for us was, uh, it was 245 miles, so um, it was four hours and 19 minutes. Um, so that's like a nice trip. So I say four hours, four nights is usually what, how we plan to stay. But th so this campground, if we went back again, I would definitely do four nights. There's plenty to do. Um, but what, one of the reasons we stayed on and we didn't leave on Easter, or we leave Monday, we left the day after, we stayed till Tuesday. Really? Okay. Yeah. We left Tuesday morning. Um, on Monday we wanted to go hiking on the Appalachian Trail. I don't know if it's Appalachian, Appalachian. Uh, people say different things. I say Appalachian. So we, we went for a hike. So pretty much every campground we go to we usually do a hike. So we use, <laughs> we used to get lost a lot, right? 
So now we use all the time. <laughs> one time. <laughs> one time too long. So we um, use all trails. I usually will scout out uh, trails before we go. So a lot of our trips in the spring and the fall, we do a lot of hiking. We don't do that much hiking in the summer unless the weather cooperates. Otherwise, we have very cranky children that don't like to hike. Um, so this, so where, so we went to Black Rock Cliff, which was on the Appalachian Trail. So it wasn't that far from our campground, and it was so nice to go to because just the whole ride to get there was really was pretty because it's very like rural. So it was nice. You get to see Maryland. So we went to it's Thirsty. The Western End of Maryland. Yes, yeah, Western End Maryland. It's before it gets hilly, right? So when we drove there, you have close been, to West Virginia. You have been to West Virginia, and you were like the mountains and the driving, like because you went to a West Virginia yeah. college game, and you were nervous that we were going to be encountering these crazy hills. But from New Jersey to there, we didn't. It wasn't bad. It wasn't bad at all. So we went to Thurston, Thurston Griggs to the Appalachian Trail to Black Rock. So if you use all trails, um, I'll put a link in below for that tra that hike. The hike was awesome. Um, it was like straight uphill for like an app for like a mile. So when you go on all trails, it will tell you it has reviews and has all these this information about the trail that people have been to, and they take pictures. You should read all of people's descriptions because even where to park was weird. It said you're gonna feel like you're parking in front of somebody's house, and it was. It was just like the end of a dead end of a road. Right? But, um, so you park there and then there's a trailhead and then you basically walk straight up a mountain. And so I think all trail said it was like three miles, but how many hours? That means it's going to be an intense hike. So the first part of it was very challenging, but we enjoy the challenging hikes because the kids are very entertained because you you got, we have our, um, our poles, you're working to get up that hill and they're not complaining. Once you get to the top and you you reach the Appalachian Trail, it was just. It was more of a. It wasn't level, but it was more of a. Well paid, well pat, well worn trail. Yeah, and it wasn't as steep. It was not as steep, but um, so when we went, it had snowed the night before, and there was snow all on the ground. It was really nice. So you get to Black Rock um, Cliff, and it's an overlook, and you can see West Virginia. It's really scenic. It's really really a nice view. Um, the reviews say it's very, very crowded, but when we went in April, Nobody was there. we didn't see anybody. It was us. So um, that's one of the things you like about hiking this time of year and kind of why I plan that. So, um, But that hike was great. I highly recommend it. Uh, again, I'll link it below. That was the Thurston Griggs to the Appalachian Trail um, to Black Rock. So that was a 3.3 mile in and out trail, and the trailhead was in Hagerstown, Maryland. So, I'll have all the information below, again, like I said. So, um, I think that's all we really have to say about the campground. Like I said, I'm going to insert some pictures. The reason that we picked our site, we picked 229, is because I watched somebody's YouTube video and they drove around in a golf cart of all the sites. And I was like, that's the site I want. Um, nice big site, uh, backed up to the woods. Um, it was very nice. So it, hopefully was, it was big. I mean, if we were to go again, I would want that same like, site. Exactly. Because it's just easy. Kids like to play pickup games. They had soccer field. You could throw a football, baseball around. Everything's right there. And then you could just walk over there. Yeah. It, yeah. Basically, this is a campground. You pull up, you park, and that's it. You don't have to go anywhere. Everything's there. Um, like I said, we did the hiking because the campground was off-season. They had no activities after Easter. They just had some for Easter. But otherwise, yeah, there'd be no reason to leave that campground. Especially that site right there. It was good. Oh, and the dog park. I'm going to give two thumbs up for the dog park. But I'm going to warn you. Because the dog park, hold on, let me look at the map. It backs up. There's campsites of the 700, 700 to 706. If you don't like dogs, do not book those sites. Because the back of your site is the dog park. So... I take the dogs there quite a few times a day, and you get to know the people who are in those sites. Because <laughs> yes, there's nowhere to hide. It's just chain link fence and those sites. So, um, yeah, that's my big, that would be my recommendation on this campground. If you don't like dogs, do not book sites 700 to 706. 
All right, I think that's all we have to say about that. This is Living Level. Thanks for checking in.